Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm just going to show you how you can cut samples in M Sound Factory. So this will be a quick one, but I wanted to show this because I think some people don't know about this, and it's actually extremely useful if you're going to sample something. So all you have to do is just open a sampler, just right click, add one in here, which we have. I have it set to the default settings here, and I'll show you the sample we're going to use. So this is one thing if you haven't tried doing this yet. You can just take something like this and drag and drop it. Ooh, actually I should put this back in here so we can see it better. And just drag and drop it in there. You could, of course, do it another way by opening it inside. But by doing this, we can just import it. And I just want to show you what it sounds like at first. So this is just me talking and it has a few different parts. So it should sound like this. Hey, this is a test. Cuts. For Melda. Now I have it set, so depending on where I hit it, it'll sound different. Hmm. Hey. Of course. But let's just get off that for now. We're just going to go into default. So we want to cut that up into different sections. So we're just going to go in here where it says regions. Here. Go to the menu, and if you look all the way down here, it says sample cutter. And we're going to choose whichever wave file we have, like this. Open it. Now, from here, there's a lot of things we can do. At the top, you have the output path, and that's where the samples are going to be. We also have uh, the name and format. Uh, if you look in the question mark here, it'll explain this better, but basically when it exports it, it will have like numbers and letters near the WAV file. And so sometimes this is useful. Let's say if you have um, like guitar samples, you're trying to sample your own guitar, you can do it that way. Um, but that's enough. You can look through that yourself. Uh, manual sequence. This is useful if you're also doing something like, let's say, guitar samples and you wanted to have, uh, let's say, you play the note C three times at different velocity levels. You can you know, put that in there. So that way the, co cut bleh, the computer knows how you want to add the samples together and it can make sure it's labeled correctly. But... For most things, you don't need that. Let's just go over the detection settings here. So for this, you can go over different things like the attack. You can adjust it here like this or adjust it here and just put it where the attack should be. Let's say around there looks good. Now I want the noise level of the attack and the release and the release noise level. So just set that up according to the peaks here. And that should get us close to perfect uh, cuts. Of course, it'll probably never be perfect. You'll have to adjust this yourself and see what works for you. And of course, afterwards, you can adjust it manually. But sometimes for the cutting, you want to make sure it's pretty close beforehand. So after that, just click Export Samples. So I'll quickly cut it. Now, whatever folder you have, it should be in there. So I think I have it here. Let me look in. Oh, close this so you can see it have it in something called sample chops. This is called talking because the WAV file was called talking. And now you see it cut it into four different pieces. Now I could just leave it like that, but let's actually import these. Let's see if I can make it, move this to the side a little bit. Now I want to make a new region. So this is covering the whole spectrum, but what I want to do here is let's just move this and let's just have this cover one key. So I'll just drag this over here to make the region small. Actually, it's going to cover two keys. Now, what I can do is just take one of these and just drop it here like this. And where it says mode, I want instead of full import, import to selected re region. So it'll just be for these two keys. And you can do other things here, pitch detection, audio, but for this, it's talking, so there's not really any of that. And all the rest of the stuff for our use, it doesn't matter. If you want to know more, just click the question mark. Okay, so now when I hit that, hmm. Hmm. but there's some problems. So first thing, I don't really want this to change pitch. So all we have to do is set this to constant. Hey, hey, hey. But now you know it's like, whoa, it's Mickey Mousing. I don't want it to be that high. All you have to do is see this red key here, move this up until it sounds right. So if I have it here, hey, hey. if I move it down, <laughs> even higher. So I want to move it up. So let's try, I think it's around here, like F sharp. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. That's about right. So it's there. So it's C4, or sorry, A4. 
Okay, now if I want to do another one, do this, and I'll just do the same thing. And I'll just do this on all the white keys. Same thing, okay. And I'll set this, was it A4? Hey, this is a test. Hey, this is a test. This is a test. And add one more. Actually, I'll add two more. Uh, instead of a whole tone, just do one semitone for this one. Make it all white keys like this. Same thing, A4. Cuts. This is a test. Hey. And let's just do one more. And move it up. For Melda. Okay, so now we have these here, and we can play these just like anything else. So we could you know, do all sorts of interesting things like this. Hey, cuts. Hey, hey, cuts. This is a t for Melda. Hey. Form formelda. Cut. This is it. Formelda. This is it. Formelda. Cuts. This is it. Formelda. This is it. Formelda. Hey. Formelda. This is it. Formelda. Okay, so you can play around with that if you want to do all those things. And you can do the same thing if you had an actual like vocal sample. So if you're wondering how to do that, sometimes you hear this in different like songs like hip hop and some things or even EDM where they play like these samples. This is an easy way. You saw this only took a few seconds to actually cut it down and then re-import it. And there's other things you can do with this too. I could make this go backwards if I wanted to. So let me see. Go in here. Uh, I'm doing manual round robin. Sorry. Oh, that's looping it. So I could loop it or do whatever. So there's all sorts of things. I don't want to go through it. If you haven't seen it, check out my other video. I show you how to do all that kind of stuff. But in here, you can see you know, how this works. And so this is especially useful if you want to make your own sample bank. And of course, you have the export sfz so if you want to you know do things that way you definitely can but if you have any questions about this leave them down below if you like this give me a thumbs up check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com and until next time see you